Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. So the other day, I did something I haven't done in a while. I put on my 1997 Omega Tomorrow Never Dies watch, and it did something. It transported me back many, many years ago when I first started this channel in everything that I think the channel is about, which is, of course, it's it's the Bond lifestyle, it's locations, it's the experiences, yes, but it's also about the frugal Bond. I mean, that was the very foundation to which I think this channel became embraced, welcomed by people out in the world. People wanted to live the Bond lifestyle. They didn't want to be restricted by the size of their wallet. They didn't want the socioeconomical status that they were a part of to limit whether they could or couldn't wear and be like Bond in the world of lifestyle. So the Frugal Bond was born. And I went to Kohl's and Target, you remember the days. And so it really brought me back and I wanted to make sure that I, I keep revisiting the Frugal Bond. So that was the premise of the video. I mean, it's the very foundation of the Bond experience. So today the video is the top 10 pieces that I have that are the frugal bond. And, and here's how we're gonna play this little game today. We gotta to talk about how I evaluated the top 10. 10 all the way to number one. What is the number one frugal bond piece? First of all, I had to go to my closet, had to take a look at all the frugal bond pieces, lay them out. It took a lot of work and a lot of time. Hope you appreciate it. But then I had to really make decisions based on a couple criteria. And here's the criteria. Number one, is it a frugal bond? <laughs> is it an item that doesn't break the bank? We've got luxury items, I get it. They're quite the investment sometimes. These had to be some things that wouldn't break the bank or was a more financial or economical embraced version of the existing one. It also could be just something that doesn't exist anymore. So therefore somebody created it. It's frugal bond because to try to find a limited piece, very expensive, high dollar item. The other thing is, did it replicate the piece from the Bond movies that we fell in love to begin with? I mean, think about this. The, the very motivation of the frugal Bond is to capture that moment in the movie that we're seeing and say, I want to bring it into the real world, my world, put it on, wear it, and wear it out in the wild. Does it do that? How well does it do that? Then the last which is very important and probably the most important, is it something that I keep going back to? The fit, the feel, does it match who I am? All those things I had to weigh in the criteria of, is this piece created and made for a human being to wear? Because we know that some of the wardrobe, it's not very practical or it's not your go-to piece. Hmm? Case in point, sorry, just isn't. So is the piece matched with the criteria of the ranking that says, this is something I wear a lot. And I know people do as well. All right. Those are the three things that I looked at. Let's begin starting with the top 10. Now I have a feeling you absolutely recognize number 10. It's from this image right here. It is of course when James Bond is running through the streets of Venice in 2006, Casino Royale. We all saw it, we all coveted it. We looked it up, whether you call it a blue rugby or a long sleeve polo, it has many names. It was identified in an interview that we had with Lindy Hemming, where she says, it's Massimo Dutti, but Massimo Dutti, even though we contacted them, they didn't want to replicate it. No, big factory runs. They don't think that there's enough Bond lifestylers out there to warrant the recreation of this. Oh boy. Uh, why don't you write your special message to Massimo Duty and let them know that you exist in big, big numbers. Eh, I'll let you do that. But in the meantime, let's talk about this one right here. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. I've got a prop which is another one. This, first of all, is a size large. I never take a size large, but this one was created by Magnoli and the pieces, they, they fit a little snug. So the large fits me perfectly. We've got to start this video too with giving you my size. The way we do that and the reason we do that is when I talk about 
the sizes of the pieces, you can say, all right, I, I'm kind of getting it. So I'm a 41-42, I'm a 30-31 waist. That'll give you an idea. And the large fits really well, not too big, not too small. You see the arms on here. I still love this piece. And by the way, we got to go back to the criteria. Number one, does it replicate the original one? really well actually. It's got the same type of rugby placket, the same type of uh, buttons, the same collar, but this is really cool. Magnoli Clothiers, who did the replicas of this, even did the back, what is that, a yoke? What would you call that, a yoke, an eggshell? I don't know, but this back seamed area, which is kind of like a, a little bit of a horseshoe or a semicircle, he replicated that, which a lot of ones out there do not have that detail. This one does have that detail. It's got the right fit. It's got the right feel. Remember what Craig did. He canoodled. I said canoodled with Vesper. And then he woke up in the morning. He threw on his Sunspell t-shirt. He threw on this. And then he was out the door. Very comfortable. Look at that. Just sneakers and just a chill Bond outfit. This thing says chill. And I have to tell you something. You can see by the seams here, this gets a lot of wear in the David Zaritsky wardrobe. I wear it all year round. I've worn it a lot. It's still holding up well. No rips, no tears. But that's the other part of the criteria. So it replicates it but it's also a go-to. It's one that I constantly grab at. And of course it connects to that bond moment and it's inexpensive, all right? If I was to have one made in the perfect form, Magnoli, nice thing is he keeps his prices relatively digestible. So this one fits the bill. Okay, that's number 10. Guess what we have to do? We have to go to number nine. All right, number nine is a pair of pants. You're like, David, really? Yes, really. So these are Royale Filmwear's version of the Ted Baker pants that you see in 2006 Casino Royale. Here's an image right here. He wears them in the airport. There's a couple places that he wears them, but you know them from the airport scene when he wears the Armani jacket and he wears the Sunspell shirt. It's very cool. Well, <laughs> Good old Danielle, Dan, Danielle, not Danielle, Daniel Love, replicated these so exact. He even did the interior, it has this little purple and white, and the way the seams are, looks just like that in the Ted Baker. I had the Ted Baker. And the Ted Bakers, if you were to buy them now, are very expensive, but you also have some trouble because, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They're not available. You can't get them. So he did this. And he did this, let me uh, get you some details here, in a beautiful linen, there's the color, the correct color, I might add, the correct weight. I put these right up against the ones that I have, which are from the same year that they were made for the movie and everything, and these are great. And by the way, 2006, these are not skinny. These are not slim fitted, they're not supposed to be. It was 2006, they fit in such a way that it would be called like a traditional or relaxed fit. Very comfortable, perfect, perfect for the warm weather or the spring weather. What I also like about this is it's super lightweight. I know, look, you're getting all the action. I look like, um, look like one of those, like what are the wiggly worm guys, the wiggly arm guys, like buy a car here, buy the wig. I don't know, I want one. So it's super light. Now, Let's go through our criteria. You know how we do this by now. This is number nine, so you get the point. Do these replicate the ones from the movie? Yes, they do. Are they a frugal bond? Yes, they are, because you can't get them. And if you could get them, Ted Baker would be quite a bit more than Royal Filmware charges. And is it my go-to? I have worn these quite a bit. Not so much as the numbers coming up. So you'll see this is why this is like closer to 10 than it is to number one. But I've worn it so much that it had to make the top 10 because it fits well in my lifestyle and it fits well in my personality. All right, head on over to number eight. I think we should. I just realized that number eight gives me uh, definitely some Dalton vibes here. Definitely some Dalton vibes. All right, number eight's a bit of a cheat. So hey, my game, my rules, but it is, of course, the Quantum of Solace Harrington, also by Royal Filmware. And I paired it, because I'm lazy, uh, with the Magnoli Venice shirt that we were talking about before. 
But why did I choose this one? First of all, I think the Harrington jacket is perfect. It was chosen actually by the costume designer, but they went towards the navy one that you see in the movie. But let's go over a couple things. First of all, this Harrington jacket, the fit and the details. We've got to talk about this. This is a size medium. It fits me perfectly. You can see here I've got room, but not too much room because it's supposed to be fitted. The arms are perfect. The collar stays up beautifully. Look at the zip. Zip is screen accurate. Buttons are screen accurate. I love this jacket. I wouldn't do the whole Dalton beigey thing here. It's a little little ice cream manish for me, for me, but I do like this look and I love this jacket. We've got to talk about the whole aspect of this because yes, as you can see here, worn by Daniel Craig, not worn in the movie, so it's a little bit of a tweak, but I wanted to pick out the Harrington jacket. I wanted to do something different. The reason it's in the top 10 at all is because of the design. It is so traditional. Does it factor back to Bond and heritage and style? Absolutely. It ticks off all those boxes. Is it comfortable? Is it a frugal version of what this would be? Well, we know that the Tom Ford, if you had it done bespoke, would be thousands of dollars. Just this. I mean, there was a factory run. They're great. But it's very difficult to get now if you could get their attention to do it. Second of all, not frugal for most people. And so this really makes it a frugal alternative. And if you like the Navy one, if you want to be more towards the screen accurate version of Quantum of Solace, you can get the Navy one from them as well. So it's also a go-to. It's comfortable, it's relaxed, it's lined beautifully as you can see. And it's one I keep gravitating to mostly in the spring. So tick, tick, tick. That's why it's in the top 10. Okay, okay, coming in at number seven, we are now at 007, is an interesting one because I wasn't sure how these were going to come off, but it is another pair of trousers. It is, of course, the Spectre trousers. Check these out. The puppy tooth ones that you see in Spectre that Bond wears, not once, but twice. He wears them in Solden and he wears them back in London with the John Varvatos Navy jacket. We all coveted these for a long time. We couldn't find the branded ones and the branded ones would have been very expensive. But of course, Royal Felmore at it again. Let me get close with the pattern. This is a frugal bond version. So it checks off that right away. How does it fit compared to the original ones? Perfectly. You can see that it's got a slim kind of almost stretchy feel. So it hugs the legs. If you look at the way it looks, take a look here. In the movie, it hugs James Bond's legs. It's not supposed to be flowy. It's pretty darn fitted like the costume designers were doing with this. But the details of this, again, he found an original pair and replicated everything, even the way the back pockets look, the way the belt loops look, because he wants to get a high score on this video, I guess. I don't know, but that's what we're doing here. This does replicate this in a beautiful way. Of course, it's gonna be in the top seven. It's comfortable, and I'm happy to say when I received them, all I had to do was hem them, Steve the Taylor, thank you, and then they were done. And then I wore them a lot. They go with everything. White tops, black tops, blue tops. A lot of tops is what I'm saying. So this got a very high score. It clicks off all these things, but I know what you're saying. It's like, David, we get it. Is there something special for number six? Why, yes, there is. I'm so glad you're here to ask these questions because number six is not just a frugal bond. It's a screen accurate bond. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, people of the jury coming in at number six is not only an incredible frugal bond choice, not only is it comfortable, but it's screen accurate. Yes, not an homage piece, screen accurate. And it is, of course, the Jed North workout bottoms, not swimsuit, wouldn't swim in them, but workout shorts that you see in this wonderful picture, No Time to Die. You've seen it, you love this part. I love this part. Bond is in Jamaica, he's retired. He's fishing, he's boating, he's sunbathing, he's brushing his teeth naked in the shower. Who wouldn't want to do all these things? But of course, you got to do it in something comfortable like the Jed North 
workout shorts. Now, we got to go through our criteria. We got to keep honest to this rule. Number one, is it a frugal bond? Folks, you can get this off of Amazon for anywhere from $15 to $25. Go back into your noggin for a second. What other bond clothing or accessory items can you get for $15 to $25? I submit there ain't many. I'm having hard tribe. I'm having a hard time thinking of any. Bamboo toothbrush from said naked shower scene, maybe. But this is really inexpensive. And the nice thing is, all you do is these come in, and you see this little logo? It's kind of raised on here. You take a washcloth, you wet it, you put it over here, you iron it gently, washcloth in between, so you don't get any kind of like weird burn. And then you just take off the washcloth and pick off this either with your fingernail or a coin, and it comes right off. Then, giving you instructions. Then you take this, you remove the almost sickening neon string and you pull it out and you go buy one on Amazon. At the same time you order these, you order a navy blue shoe string or a boot string, whichever size you need. And then you pull it out, push that one in. You can use a, a coat hanger or wire, whatever. And you have a hundred, not 99.99, like ivory soap, a hundred percent screen accurate frugal bond piece for your collection. I got a whole video on this. You can go check it out. I'm sure it's, it's out there. It's like 870 videos. So best of luck finding it. But that, I had to include this. Of course I had to include this. It had to be in the top 10 at least because it is something that I go to very often. They're comfortable. I, I don't, again, we'll wear them swimming because Everything will show. These are thin and there's no lining. So people won't have to use your, their imagination on what's going on down there if you get my drill. Now, maybe you're into that type of advertising, but not so much. All right, we're at the halfway point, folks. I, I gotta show you what's number five. I think you're gonna like this. All right, check this out, check this out. Coming in at number five is, of course, this outfit, I'm sure you recognize it just from this logo alone, Skyfall, bonds a little under the weather, he's coming back from death, he's got to go work out, he's got to train, he's got to be tested, and of course, this is the SIS training workout suit. I've got the pants on, I've got the full jacket, I know, fully kitted out, thanks to SIS training, yes, SIS, the SIS gear, he's put this all together top to bottom. Now, here's how we break down the criteria on this. First of all, is it comfortable? Is it a go-to? I just got it. So I don't know how much I'm going to be going to. Uh, Luke Taggart, Bond's apartment, did a great review on this. Much longer, more specific than I am right now. But if I'm being practical and real, the, the cloth is a little bit shiny to be 100% screen accurate. It's Really good though from a fit and style standpoint. I mean, this fits me just like it does in the movie. So it definitely has, and this is why it's in the top five. When you see this as a Bond fan, you know, with the pleating on the pants and the way the joggers fit towards the bottom, the way everything fits as far as the ribbing is concerned, yes. I mean, you see me a hundred feet away, you're going to be like, da, 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 da. I'm tracking that guy. That guy is wearing this Skyfall suit. He can't get away with it. So reality wise, it fits the bill. I think if the fabric was a little bit different, a little bit more muted, chef kiss. I mean, you're, you're talking hundred percent accurate. The logo looks great. Quality is great. All those things. So it ticks off all the checkpoints that we're doing here for criteria. And the biggest one, which is, is this a frugal bond? Heck yes. So even though, you know, all in, this is going to run you maybe about 150. If you were to try to get the original one of these, forget it. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, and there's even conversations that it was a prototype to begin with. So it would be very difficult to impossible. You'd have to get the screen used one, which obviously not economical, not uh, from an investment standpoint, digestible. 
And I think there was only one or two out there in the wild anyway. So this, this had to be in the top five. Love this. Great pockets here. And again, this fits me perfectly. By the way, size small jacket. You guys talk about sizing and fit, right? Size small jacket. Da, 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 running, running. Uh, size small pants as well. And hold on. I don't want to blow your, your ears off. But check this out. Let's kind of replace this here. Doing this on the fly. And then you can do one of these. So he's got a whole range, which again, frugal bond moments. Not going to break the bank. Good investment. You could still have your logo here and, and be and look like bond, but you can start to whittle away and get a little bit creative. So yes, I yes, training gear. He gets extra points for that. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're on number four. Okay, number four, this is number four. I'll stand back here so you can see the whole thing. You recognize it, I know you do. Here's a picture in case you need it. But if you need it, I don't know what you're doing on this channel. This is of course the Madagascar, <laughs> look at me go, uh, running shirt from Casino Royale. You remember when Bond is doing parkour, he's running away and we all coveted this shirt. Way back when a few people were able to get it from the costumer that actually supplied them for the movie off of the original bolt. That's great, but it went quick. So all of us were kind of like, oh, let's go out and get this shirt and that shirt. And I'm happy to say this is a Royal Filmware. A Royal Filmware had come out with one in the past, a couple years ago. It was very good. It was, you had to do a little tender love and care with it. You had to, uh, put a little bit of tea coloring in there, soak it to get the right kind of beige. Uh, you had to kind of break it in, wash it, wash it, wash it to get kind of, there was a, sort of a stiffness to the, to, the, to the fabric. But this is his new one. So you didn't ask for this, but you're getting a review. This is like a, a review. It's like, it's, like, it's like a wormhole in a wormhole. That's not how it goes. It's like a donut hole in a donut hole. How you doing, David? So, my review of this is he killed it. Royal Filmware killed it. He hit it out of the park. This is now made of like a viscose bamboo type fabric. It's incredibly soft. I have the one from the original bolt in the film made by the costumer who supplied them for Casino Royale. This one feels exactly like it. I, I, I mean, it's dead on. The fit, by the way, this is a size small. So you remember 41, 42. 3031. This is the way the small fits. I love the way it fits. It's not shrunk wrap on me. How's it do in the biceps? It fits good in the biceps, right? And now you got these buttons. I call them vanity buttons because you can, like me, like I did, you can button it all the way here or you can let loose it a little bit and make it look like a golf shirt. Who would want to do that? But this is perfect. It fits in the chest. It kind of V's down perfectly. You can go running with this. Yeah. This one fits the bill. It's got a frugal moment to it. It's, it's absolutely one of my grab and go to's and it replicates perfectly, perfectly the one that you see in the film. I mean, look at this. Even if you get up close, you can see how this kind of beige vanilla off white image underneath these, he nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. So this of course is going to get a big score. Holy cow. We are down to the top three. I wonder which ones made it. Uh, let, let's go check it out. Okay, number three harkens back to Quan of Solace. Everybody knows the scene because we all went out there looking for these, these black wool knit cardigans, just like the one you saw with Tom Ford. Here's a picture of Bond in his. Again, the original was Tom Ford. They're fantastic, but very expensive and you can't get the correct ones nowadays. So we're back to Royal Film where here we are. This is mine. This is a size medium. It fits me really well. I think a small might be too snug, but it fits really well in the details. But look at the ribbing. Look at the ribbing that has on the gauntlet area, the arms. This area right here has a zigzag. This captures, here we go with the criteria again. This captures all the scene and the mood and the replication from Quantum of Solace. For those of you looking for 
a black cardigan that fits the Talamo in the, the Italian area. And when Bond is looking for Mathis and banging on, he's drinking that white wine. I know you know that because you've replicated it in your mind. Royal Filmware brought that to the table. So it just, they're making it easier. And of course, it's frugal compared to the originals, which were anywhere from 12 to $1,800. Obviously, you're getting a soft wool, you're getting the same type of look, and you're getting it for a lot less. That's gonna go under frugal, and that's why it gets such a high rating. Again, one of these things that they didn't hem and haw on the details, they went for broke and they said, it's gonna cost a little bit extra, but it's still gonna be frugal. I'm sticking with this one. But now, we're in the top two. And for the top two, we've got to do something a little different because we have to ignore, ignore that we're in the, the heat and the summer, the, 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 the scalding air of July and go back to something that makes the top 10, ergo the top two even, but it's a winter item. What could it be? Hmm. I bet you're watching this and you're like, oh, I could pick a million number twos. I bet you never picked number two being something from Spectre. And this, of course, is the Bond when he goes to Solden. He's on the river heading to Mr. White's little place, and he's wearing this jacket, as you can see here. I've even got the little fur still on there. This navy jacket, all in cashmere. The original one, <laughs> hold on to your puppies. It's about 4,000 give or take more. Um, I had one in my collection. I wound up selling it because I just didn't wear it. And I think, I, looking back, confession, looking back, I think a part of it was I wasn't wearing it because it was so expensive and I'd have to rethink it and, you know, was it that practical? And then I sold it because the answer was no. Uh, it wasn't. And it was awfully expensive. So now, this is how we do it, comes along a frugal option royal filmware again and yet how oh, i don't have to dismiss it i could still wear this instead of having fear of it over the price tag i can accept that it's actually very efficient to purchase this wear it in the winter and it replicates the one from the movie so well you can take these off and instead you have more the more screen accurate versions you can zip it up and have the one like when he's approaching mr white you can actually change up this jacket in a lot of different ways. So of course it has to hit the mark. And there's something about jackets that I love with Bond. If someone's replicating them and they hand it over in a frugal way, they get extra marks. That's why it's number two. But guess what? We're playing a game here. We gotta do it till we're finished. What is number one? Now, those of you who are looking at this brown Armani homage jacket that you're seeing right now. I can't believe you're surprised. You're not surprised. Tell me you're not surprised. You're not surprised. It has to be this. This has to be my number one. First of all, the original screen used Armani jacket, which we can see here in pictures from, of course, my favorite Bond film, Casino Royale. This is my favorite piece, period. I mean, that Armani jacket that I own, that screen used, my favorite piece in the whole collection. So when somebody, you know who you are, came out and replicated these for everybody else, I was very dubious. You know, again, I go back to the frugal bond criteria. Is it inexpensive compared to the Armani jacket? <laughs> well, the Armani jacket, first of all, you can't get it. They don't make it anymore. There goes that. Number two, it's expensive as heck. It could be 4,000 a jacket. So there goes that. But something that's affordable that everybody could wield and pull in, and yet it's got all the correct pockets, it's got all the correct linings, it's got the correct collar up here and the way it fits. So that was the biggest one. Let me uh, zip this up. I needed to see how much am I going to this? How much am I using this as a real jacket? And the answer is a lot. Since I received my replica frugal bond armani casino royale jacket that's a mouthful i have been wearing this without exaggeration in three seasons probably at least once or twice a week 
and and it is replaced in many cases especially especially during the winter and the spring it's replaced my cotton harrington that i used to always go to it replaced my suede matchless that i was always going to no this this was my this was my leather jacket that i wore all the time still is that quite frankly i can be less fearful of because it's a frugal bond moment so this had to make number one it, it, it notches off all that criteria that I introduced before. It's got all the right coloring on it, the right snaps, gaps. Got nothing to rhyme with that. So this had to win the day. So out of the top 10, this is my number one choice. And I'll be wearing it often. All right. Well, that gives you a peek. I hope that was helpful. Top 10, there always has to be... 10 for some reason, but these were my top 10 choices of frugal bond that I think everybody should consider owning, or maybe you've tried to own. They're out there. I want to thank, obviously, Magnoli. I want to thank SIS Training. I want to thank Royal Filmware. I mean, all of these groups have pulled together a lot of interesting alternatives for us. And so at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, we don't have to spend a lift truck full of gold to bullion to live the bond lifestyle, to get that bond look. There are alternatives out there. There are companies that are really, as fans, paying homage to all of this to make sure that all of us can have a little slice, just a little, of the bond lifestyle and a bond experience without breaking the bank. Yep. Will there be more frugal bond moments? Absolutely. Again, it's the foundation of the channel. I really enjoyed this today. Talk about Lady Gaga moments of like changing out outfits. This fit the bill. In the meantime, I'll leave you to it. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.